Hello students. In this video, I am going to talk about morphological features of Poltricum thallus. First of all, the introduction. Poltricum is one of the largest mosses which is commonly called as hairy cap moss because of the loosey calyptra enclosing the mature capsule. Polytrichum is the member of family Polytrichaceae order Polytricales which falls under class Brafsida. The genus comprises over 100 species found all over the world which are chiefly confined to the tropical and temperate zones. Regarding the family Polytrichaceae, 6 genera and 40 species had been recorded from Nepal till date. And the genus Polytrichum consists of 7 species which are distributed in the temperate zones in which elevation ranges from 1500 to 4800 meter. Polytrichum occurs in diverse habitats, however, like other mosses, it prefers cool and sandy places and grows on damp soil, moist rocks, in swampy places and under the shade of other plants. Some species grows in clay soil liable to desiccation or on dry stony places, dry forest box and others on sandy banks, heaths or on the trunks and branches of the trees. Now the plant body that is the gametophyte. The plant body of Polytrichum can be differentiated into two regions that is an underground rhizome and erect aerial leafy shoots arising from the rhizome. A rhizome is the horizontally growing underground portion of the plant body from which arise the leafy shoots. A rhizome is covered by three rows of brown or colorless scale leaves and numerous rhizoids. Rhizoids are long, branched, obliquely septate, multicellular thread-like structures arising from the rhizome. They grow densely which causes them to coil round one another and to form conspicuous twisted rhizoidal strings. They help to provide anchorage and absorb water. Besides, gemma are also produced in the rhizoids, so we can say that rhizoids also serves for vegetative propagation or the perinating organs. Leafy shoots arise from the basal rhizome portion and are only conspicuous that is the only visible part of the plant body. The leafy shoots are rarely branched and they can reach up to 45 cm as in the case of Poltricum commune. Externally, leafy shoots can be differentiated into stem or central axis and leaves, which are of two types that is foliage leaves and scale leaves. Both type of leaves are spirally arranged in stem or central axis. Foliage leaves occurs in the upper portion of the leafy shoots in complicated spirals with a divergence of 3 by 8. That means in 3 complete spirals there are 8 foliage leaves. They are comparatively larger and green in color. Each foliage leaf can be differentiated into proximal sheathing base and the distal narrow limb or blade. Proximal means the part of the leaves which is nearer to the stem and the distal means the portion of the leaves which is farther from the stem. Seeding base is well developed, broad, colorless, membranous portion which narrows above into green and lanceolate limb or blade. Base consists of relatively narrow midrib and is devoid of lamellae that means the seeding base doesn't contain any lamellae. Whereas a limb consists of broad multi stratos midrib which constitute the major portion of the limb. The blade consists of a series of longitudinal chlorophyllous cell plates or lamellae on its upper side. Foliage leaves of poltrigum closes as they enter the dormant stage and readily opens as the right time arrives. Hence the closing mechanism of foliage leaves may serve the poultrygum to perinate the unfavorable dry condition. The scale leaves are small, brown or almost colorless leaves with a rudimentary blade which is triangular in outline. They occur in the rhizome and the transitional region 
arranged in three vertical rows with a divergence of one by three that is three leaves in one complete spiral the scale leaves are non photosynthetic in function this much for today's video like and comment and subscribe for more videos thank you